welcome to my channel. I'm Marcella, if you're new to my channel, and I have a blog called lovemarcella.com, and I talk about beauty and lifestyle, and today what I'm going to share with you is my current wash and go routine for curly hair. Currently for my wash and go routine, I like to do the lock method on the front part of my hair, and what that includes is a leave-in conditioner, an oil, and then a cream styler product. So for me, my leave-in conditioner, I'm going to be using the Miel Organics White Peony uh, Leave-in Conditioner. And this one is really good. I like it. I like to use it. Um, I don't like to drench my hair in it, but I like to kind of give like a nice layer throughout all of my hair. So I'm going to do that right now. So I like to just spray it in my hand. And then I kind of, I just, I mix it in my hand and then I put it all throughout. I put it in from root to tip and I focus on the tips of my hair because that is what gets um, damaged first. So, and especially on curly hair, your hair could just get really, really damaged so easily. Um, I'm putting it all in my hair, just making sure I'm getting in a nice, even layer all throughout, like the back, from the root, and bringing it all the way down to the tip. And then, once I'm done with this, I'm going to put a little bit more on the front of my hair because that is what gets really frizzy first. I'm going to kind of be like gentle with it because... I don't want to like just be rubbing it all up in my hair and then that's what makes it super frizzy. So I'm going to just be kind of like soft and nice with it so um, I can get the desired look that I want. Because I'm going for like a defined, shiny, pretty curl so that's what I'm going to go for. Next for the oil, I'm just using regular old extra virgin olive oil and I'm going to put just a little bit of that in my hand. I'll put a little bit in my hand and then I'm gonna just kind of run it down like the front of my hair. And I'm going starting from the root area because I feel like that is what gets, I'm starting from the root area because I feel like that is what gets like super dry looking first on my hair. Next thing I'm going to take is my Miss Jessie's Multicultural Curls. This is one of my favorite cream stylers ever and it is amazing. I feel like it just, it really does leave you with a defined curl without like weighing it down with product. I feel like I still have fluff in my curls and they have movement and they're, it's really, really a great product. So I'm going to take a generous amount for just the front part. So to me this is a generous, generous amount just for the front part of my hair. And I'm gonna go again, root to tip. Once I'm done with that, what I like to do is I like to take some pieces from the front, small pieces, you're gonna take some small pieces and then finger curl them. And what this does for me is I feel like it really gives me that defined look that I'm looking for on the front because like no matter what I do I just get this crazy frizz on the front of my hair so I don't know what it is the texture is just different whatever but good thing I know how to do finger curling so it's really easy you can see I'm just like taking it around my my finger curling and you can already see that I have like some definition that's kind of, you know, developing there. And you want to take small sections. If you take too big of a section, it's not going to look cute. So um, I'm just going to con continue to do this around like the, the front of my hair. Then once I'm done finger curling, what I like to do is I like to take the same cream styler and then put it all throughout the rest of my hair. I make sure I get enough of this in my hair and each time I'm not like putting a huge glob in my hand I'm putting like more than I'm putting in like the size of a pecan no less than that maybe the size of a a little more than pea size two peas <laughs> 
so yeah so anyway okay so that is about it so now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to let my hair air dry I'm gonna show you the result and then let you see you know how it came out okay so I'm back and this is the final look and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and take my pick and kind of go on the roots of my hair pick up my hair a little bit make it a little bit more full because that's what I like this what I like so this isn't a true pick this is like what I could find I could I can't find a pick anywhere so oh well I'm going to go in for a full look so this is day one hair after a wash and then once you have a couple of days in day two day three your hair is going to get bigger and bigger and it's going to have that big full fluffy look that you're going for so I really want to hear how this method worked for you guys Comment down below how you liked it or um, whether or not you're able to find the products or if you found any like different products that worked for you. I would love to hear about them because I'm always on the lookout for good curly hair products. So hey, don't forget to subscribe on my channel and thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.